Hello everybody, uh, I am making a tutorial video on how to use world edit to move entities, specifically like animals and stuff, but it works with whatever entities, uh, between worlds or just paste them around the same world. Uh, it's the same thing with just a little bit of extra stuff. So I actually already filmed this, but I wasn't recording the microphone because I forgot to enable that. So, but that's fine. This will be better. Okay, so how world edit works is you need your wand, and you can give yourself a wand by doing this, uh, or just by giving yourself a wooden axe. Uh, it's just a wooden axe. Unless you, I think there's mods that change that, that let you do different things, but we don't have that right now, and we're not gonna complicate this. So, you do, hold on, just one second, okay. So, position one, set, position two set so you want to make sure that that encompasses it, it, it just picture like a square it's going to encompass the whole thing corner to corner so we've got the two positions set and then we do da uh, slash slash copy and now if you just do copy it's just gonna copy the blocks not the entity to get it to copy the entity you have to do dash e okay so now the entity is copied um, now, to paste it, I've already done it a few times, as you can see, because, like I said, I've done this before, you do paste-e, and there you go. And it's gonna paste wherever, like, you saw I was standing here when I copied it, uh, so it's, it pasted it in that same position relative to where I am. Okay, so... That's how you copy and paste within the same world. If you wanna do different worlds, what you have to do is position, first position, second position. You do the exact same thing, slash slash, copy, negative E, dash E, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and then you do schematic, save. And I've already saved the schematic, but uh, uh, you, here you just give it the name you want. I named it test cow one okay i'm not going to save it again because i've already saved this but it just well it already exists uh anyways so that saves an actual file to your computer that you can move around all right uh and how you can easily find it there if you know how to find your like config folder you can ignore all of this but this is just to make it easy for people who might not know how to navigate their folders but the easiest way to get to it is go to resource pack so I, I went i clicked escape options resource packs open pack folder and um what that does uh you're not going to be able to see it because i don't have it i don't have it recording uh the rest of my screen but it takes you to your resource pack folder and if you go a folder up the folder that that folder is in that's going to be your minecraft folder for this instance uh, then you go to config world edit schematics and there it will be the schematic that you named just now it will be saved there if you, so sorry my lizard was making a weird noise okay uh, so it's an actual file saved to your computer that you can move around, you can send to people. Now, if the world that you want to paste your animals in are in the same Minecraft instance, so like if you're using CurseForge for multiple instances, uh, wait, back up, sorry. If it's in the same instance, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to move the, fo the file, it's there, you're fine. But if you are using different versions of, like if you have different mod packs, that are saved in different folders, then you are going to need to take that folder, that file, the schematic of, in this case, test cow, wait, what did I name it? Test cow one dot schem, for short for schematic. You're gonna need to take that file and put it in the same folder for the other instance that you wanna paste it in. Now we're not, I'm not moving between worlds cause I did just describe it. And like I said, I can't show you cause I'm not recording those folders, but it's, it's a saved file that you can send to people, you can move between Minecraft instances, and you know you can just do whatever you want with it. And I will show you how you use it. So you've moved the file to where you need it or it's already where you need it. 
So now what you do is you do slash slash schematic, just like you were saving it, but instead of save, you do load test cow one. And now that is in, in your thing, you can, you can paste it. Now it says paste with paste, but if I do that, if I just do regular paste, there's no animal, all right? To paste it with the animal, you gotta do paste uh, dash e. And there you go, there's the animal. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to note. So that, that's it for all the, the copy and pasting and everything. But uh, just a note, my lizard is actually playing with his toy for the first time. I've never seen that before. Wow, uh, <laughs> caught that for him weeks ago. Mm. All right, so this is a genetic animal's cow. And it's a male, I can tell because its nose is wider, but also it says male. Um, now, one of the cows that I pasted in uh, is female. It's the exact same cow. Genetically, it is exactly the same. It just happened, it's just female for some reason. I don't know why it switches, but it does, which is kind of cool because then if I want to breed the same cow to itself, I can just copy it and then there you go. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that, that varies with the pasting with only with genetic animals i don't i haven't noticed that with realistic horse genetics and of course vanilla animals don't have genders so uh that doesn't matter hi cow you're so cute um so another thing that happens is within genetic animals there are patterns that are the same gene but they look a little different so these two cows are both pied but their markings are a bit different. And that's just a natural variation that can't be helped with this uh, copy-paste method. But it's still genetically the same cow. Um, and it works with all the genetic animals. You can do it with anything. Um, and any entity in Minecraft, really. Uh, different things might have different ways that they, they might be different when you paste them in. I don't think so. I think the genetic animals is just really unique in the way that it works. Okay, and all a uh, side note, side note, uh, important thing to note. Uh, you might have noticed this cow, three days old. Genetic animals like saves a birth date in its DNA. So if you, this is a, this world is one day old, obviously it, it's, it's young. What type of fish is that? Uh, so it, uh, it, this isn't relevant for this. Well, it is, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, so if you save an animal on day one of a world and then paste it into a new world that is also on day one, that's not going to make a difference. But if you take an animal, if you've been playing on a world for like a Minecraft year and you breed a fresh baby and you're like, oh, well, I want to move that baby into this new world that I've made that's like a one day old world. Well, here's what's going to happen. Ignore the fencing. That's just a conversion issue I had. Um... This cow is negative 356 days old. That takes four minutes straight of feeding it wheat to age it up. Uh, so if you paste an, uh, a cow born late in an old world in a, into a brand new world, it's going to be negative age. And I mean, eventually it should age up. But, you know, that can be a problem. It can be a little annoying. Uh... So I've got all these really pretty cows that are just stuck as babies, but you know, it's fine. Uh, so those are just, those are the, the important things to, to know about all of this copying and pasting entities. Uh, hopefully that helps. If anything is confusing or maybe I wasn't clear or maybe I need to make a better version of this video, please leave me a comment. Uh, maybe I can help you in the comments, or I can try to make a new video that is more concise. I apologize, I'm all over the place. Um, but I've had a lot of people asking me how you do this, and I can explain it till the cows come home, but for me personally, it always helps to see it. Uh, so I hope this helps. Leave a comment letting me know if it helps, if you need more help, if I should make a better video. Um, but until then, I will see you next time.